just for VIP parking, which is not, it's like no different than regular parking. Oh yeah, because remember they had the, before it was just preferred. <laughs> well, you can and see then, how many freaking preferred. All right, guys. So I'm at Busch Gardens Williamsburg for the first time in a while. Shout out to Brambo. Brandon, doing, guys? this man out here got me a ticket. I saw him yesterday at King's Dominion and yes, there was like a huge event, Coastal Crew event, but I saw like a bunch of people yesterday and he was kind enough to give me a ticket. So I was like, you know what? I actually kind of need to go um, and I need to ride Dark Coastal too. So that's, that'll be a credit, um, but he's going to be around for a while. He's got the ERT for uh, Pantheon. So lucky to reach yeah. 70 rides tonight. We'll see. But um, we're we'll gonna see how today's goes. It doesn't look too packed right now, so we'll see how it is though. Um, all right, well, we will see you in the parking sure. We're gonna go and get all of our thousands of perks. Like it's a two hundred dollar ticket instead of instead of a four hundred dollar ticket. I did get my GoPro certified, so we'll be doing that today. I'll have to get Griffin, Alpengeis, uh, a couple other rides too, so I'm gonna do that. It doesn't seem like it's too packed right now. I'm gonna head the Dark Coaster actually right now because I heard it does get pretty long, so I'll head over there and I will talk to y'all soon. So this is a 30 minute wait. This is actually my first time ever even coming into this castle. So we're gonna see how it is. Uh, I've heard the steaming's not amazing. Uh, it does, I know I've seen the POV and everything, but I don't really remember anything about the coaster. So we're gonna see. Okay, so I did Dark Coaster. I'm actually surprised by it. The launch is really good. That's a great family ride. Uh, smooth, no issues, restraint was solid. Uh, I like the whippiness of it. It's not like super whippy or anything, but it's just a nice family coaster. The launches were really good. The second launch actually kind of, I didn't know it was gonna actually kick like that. I thought it was gonna be like a little baby launch like Copperhead. Really good launch on the ride. I'm gonna go ride Verboten probably a couple of times because it's pretty much a walk on. I gotta get a new POV for y'all too. So I got a POV for Dark Coaster. Um, I don't know, I have to relook at how it's how it looks like on the camera because you can't really see too much in there. It was actually pretty dark. They did have all the effects on, but solid ride. I liked it. That was credit 104 for me. The Atlantis you have escaped to the forest. Please lift up your safety box and exit carefully to your left. So this is the two rides on Rolton. Literally walk one five minute wait pretty much. Uh, operations are stellar right now. So good job, Bush Gardens. That's a first. That's not usually like that. Um, I'm gonna. I really like the new birds. The new birds looks really, really good. Um, really like the way what they did with the stone. Looks really cool. Um, I'm gonna head to Pantheon now. I need to get a front seat POV, a better front seat POV, uh, and then after that, I'm gonna kind of just enjoy the park. I do need to ride Griffin. I'm gonna try to do front and back for Griffin because I love back seat on Griffin, but I just love getting dropped from the front as well. So we'll do that and talk to y'all later.
10 minute wait, man. That's rare. All right, front row Pantheon, man. That thing was kicking today, and it's it's pretty chill outside. It's not super cold, but it's just like feels great. Um, no weight at all, literally walk on. That's a first. Uh, they do have a new rule though. Not only do you have that straps on, like a strap for your glasses, you also have to you have to put your phone all like they don't let you bring anything on. It's like uh, Twisted Timbers now, where they just they don't let you bring anything on right now. Uh, before I used to be able to have my phone with my zipper pocket. They don't let you do that no more. So just be forewarned, you literally can't bring anything on here. It's pretty much just like Twisted Timbers in that sense. So I get it though, because this ride, it was kicking, man. Back seat, our front row was already crazy. I'm, I'm gonna do back, run this one back. It's walk on, like why not? Yo, back seat, back seat, this is a back seat coaster. Oh my gosh, that airtime in the back. Jesus, this ride. It's so good, it's so smooth. The launches are good. I love the sound of the launches. Just a phenomenal ride, man. I just, I'm so glad there's nobody here because I'm gonna marathon the crap out of this. I actually need to go find this little piece for me to record right, with my GoPro. I think I left it somewhere, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna leave, her pan leave Pantheon a little bit. It's literally walk on. Like so far, everything's pretty much been walk on or like maybe a 10 to 15 minute wait. Uh, Dark Coast was actually the longest wait, which I'm glad I kind of got that early. It doesn't seem like it's too packed to the park right now. Uh, they're moving with operations. It's very surprising. Every time I come here, it's usually taking their time. I mean, they're taking their time, but they're still doing really well for operations. Like Pantheon, it's barely like they barely have to hit this like the brake at all. Like it just goes pretty much straight through. I'm gonna head over to Alpengeist and then Griffin. Uh, I'll probably ride Finnegan's Flyer too, just because I haven't ridden that in a long time and I love that ride. Um, I'm thinking of anything else. Scott Verbolton. I got like everything. Like it's so like it's only like two o'clock today. So I'll talk to y'all soon though. This is where I left it, y'all. I literally left my thing right here. I was looking for this joker the whole time and I couldn't find it. Oh my goodness. Without this piece, I would not be able to. Man, that's crazy, y'all. Uh, the repaint for Griffin looks incredible. Like this one was needed really bad. It looks really good now. Super vibrant, nice ocean type of blue. They did a good job. I'm about to make a YouTube short really quick and then I'm gonna ride this thing. So yeah, love dive coasters, man. All right, everything is walk one. I'm gonna do back seat first and then I'll do, uh, I'll try to do front after that. So, yeah. Repaint looks good. I just don't like the color of the supports though. So just did back first and then I did front. Woo! I don't remember it being that intense. It's moved up for me. It used to be rougher it felt like. Like I don't know why. Like I would sit in one seat and I always would get like this weird seat where it just would jolt me around. Didn't do that this time. But 
I hate the mid course. I hate that part. There's no reason for it to go that hard on a mid course. It's just like, it almost stops the entire ride. It's crazy. Um, very intense though. You literally get the tingly finger. You get the tingly feeling in your, uh, in your feet, man. It's, it's, it's intense. Front was kicking. I think I'm gonna do back one more time. Cause I don't know if I can take this that much. It's pretty intense. Um, and then I got, I'll head over to Griffin. Griffin had went down for a little bit. So I'll talk to y'all. Break run. Oh, God, I hate that. Man. Woo. All right, guys. So I did Griffin one time. Here's the, let me tell you all this story real quick. I literally get right in the middle, right in the middle of Griffin, and my battery dies in my GoPro. So now I have to go charge up my GoPro. Thank God I brought my fast charger. It's 65 watts. It's gonna, gonna it'll take like probably 20 minutes. So that gives me some time. Um, but pretty much I gotta refilm Griffin again. Luckily I got Alpengeist, I got Panthea. I got everything else that I need. I just need Griffin and I'm all set for today. That's pretty much the only ones I that I really needed. Griffin was great though. Griffin was solid. Alpengeist is super intense. And I'll probably head back over to Pantheon pretty much everything is like a five to minute wait like there's it's pretty much no weights at all i'm loving this this is the first time it does not happen like this when i go to bush gardens it's nice because people pretty much have to go to school or work tomorrow so i may start going sundays to bush gardens at least in october see him So I did Tempest, or sorry, did Pantheon. Jesus, front row. Oh my gosh. It took forever to wait for front row. That's how I was trying to get that POV before it got crazy like it did. Sure enough, line 20 minutes now. It's 30 minutes. Operations are, they starting to do that thing now. They starting to do the thing. Um, ride, I'm going to ride Tempest, so it's literally walk one. Uh, it looks like it's about a five minute wait for front row. So I'm cool with that. Then after that, I'll do one ride on Apollo just see how it is how it's running this year I may go back over to Griffin honestly I don't know we'll see all right so oh they have a little shortcut right here scratch that I'm not doing uh I'm not gonna sit in that line for Tempesto I'm gonna go ahead and take my butt over to Apollo and we'll do that it's just that line's too long so they have a single rider line I just saw a sign for a single rider line for Apollo that's nice um I just can't I'm not gonna do it that's too long for me. Not for comfort callers. No, thank you. I'm good. Uh, we'll see how Apollo is. And then I'm gonna kind of enjoy the rest of the park. I mean, I got pretty much all the footage I need to. Mainly getting YouTube shorts now and reels and all that, you know, vertical video, whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to y'all soon. All right, y'all, so uh, Hollow Scream is starting up. I met these people. Hey! <laughs> What's y'all name? What's your name? Uh, okay. She said, Leslie. Junior, 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 that's right, that's right. She said, I'm over here. Leslie. Leslie and then <laughs> JJ. JJ, okay. So, just met them. They just all sub to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of them. Um, they come here often. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's been pretty chill today. Pantheon's line is starting to get long. Uh, I'm probably gonna head to the restroom real quick. And then I uh, write some other stuff, but yeah. yeah Look who I found. I found Bryant, y'all. Assuming I don't get punched. Angelo, <laughs> we made it! What's up, man? Am I, am I in the vlog now? Yeah, now you're in the vlog. I'm in the vlog. What's going on? Do <laughs> you have a good day? Yeah. Oh, so far, everything's been good. Now the officer's are Baby, don't see. Party just started. Where are you going? Party just started, apparently. <laughs>
Yeah, the ops are kind of getting bad now, but yeah, you know. Yeah. Overall, we had a good yeah, time. Good. Good. good on everything. Did you are, okay, good. I think it's good to come on a Sunday versus Saturday. Yeah, yeah sure. everyone says that. Like people were telling me yesterday was really bad. So, What's yeah. your favorite ride? At um, it's like a throw up between. Ver I mean, not between Griffin and uh, Pantheon. So, Griffin and Pantheon. Yeah, okay. So, I'm a Verbolton guy. I would rather say like, it's Verbolton like, and Pantheon. I love Verbolton. It's just the stop and go is the only part that I don't like about That's it. That's fair. So, yeah. That's fair. Griffin's but, really good though too. Yeah. One of the best times. What do you think of Pantheon? I love it. I mean, so I've been on, not to flex, I've been on two Tatis Park Street. Oh. So that one is so significantly yeah, better. Every, yeah. Pantheon's still great. Uh, we're riding, we got like ERT for Coaster Crew uh, okay. yeah. at it's 10 o'clock. So yeah. that's going to be Man. solid. solid. But yeah, overall, it's a solid day. It was nice meeting him again. I saw him yesterday. I came to meet And uh, Brambo gave me a ticket. So that's how, you, that's how I'm here now. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, Road to Pesto, that was not, those ops were absolutely trash. And I think I'm done riding that for a while. Uh, I just wanted to try to give it a second chance. I do love the launch on it, but cover call has just ruined that ride. Uh, for for how long I waited, never again, never again. Uh, there is it's starting to get packed now. There's a lot more people here. Uh, I'm gonna head to Griffin, try to get some night rides. Just kind of chill out. I mean, now I'm just kind of enjoying the rest of the day at the park because I got all the footage I need to. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much do this vlog and kind of run it down to the end of the day. Uh, they, they close at 10, unlike like Kings of Me, and I think they close at 11 still today. They closed at midnight yesterday, so yeah, well, I'll talk to y'all soon. Griffin at night, got that front seat POV. I'm actually about to head out now. Grandpa's butt disappeared at five o'clock apparently. He, he forgot to let me know, but it's all good because I actually needed to still kind of stay here and get all the like footage I need to. Um, I did have a blast though. Thank you again for a ticket, Brambo, um, and for driving over here. Uh, now I just have to get to my car. The only issue is my car is at the hotel. It's probably like a couple minutes away. It's not really far. It's not a far walk, so I really might just do the walk. And uh, that's gonna conclude today's vlog though. Overall, their Hollow Scream is really nothing crazy. Um, you know, Halloween Haunted Kings of Being is actually really good uh, considering. And uh, yeah, it was nice being able to come back here. Got a lot of rides, got to meet some other people. But uh, I'm heading out of here. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Till next time, peace out.